What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So, just want to remind you guys that um, if you don't know this, my other channel, the original Two Raw for Sports, uh, I can no longer ask, access that channel. I haven't logged into that channel in two weeks now. Um, I'm completely unable to access it. So I was forced to create a secondary channel. It's called Two Raw for Sports. The only difference is the S at the end is a dollar sign. And I want to thank all the people that have signed up to that channel. So far, it has been over 1,400 people. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for signing up to the channel. Uh, I got a, quite a bit of content on there considering I just created the channel Thursday. Uh, I'm going to upload more videos today on that channel so I'm put a link to that channel in the pinned comment in the comment section below so look out for that alright now remember earlier this year <clears throat> a couple weeks ago when the Sixers beat the Nuggets and Joel and B dropped 47 and 18 on Jokic's head and the media act like they didn't see that damn game you know, for some reason, they act like they just didn't see that shit. They, they swept it on the rug and kept it pushing and still kept pushing this Jokic for MVP agenda. Well, I just want to mention a couple of things here. Remember the first, I think it was the first game after the break, the All-Star break. Remember the Sixers played Memphis and beat that ass and... Remember John Morant was held to 15 points. And remember Embiid had a memorable block on John Morant, which was risky because if the dude dunked on him, it would have been a poster, right? But it's a reminder that Embiid not only can he score, but he plays on both ends of the floor. Well, Denver played that same team this same team that had been talking all this shit but can't beat nobody. But they beat the shit out of them last night. They beat them by 18. And at one point, I believe Memphis was up over 30 points. Yeah, Joel and B had a gash. You know, he got a cut and all that. But man, he's supposed to be Serbian, right? He's supposed to be tough. That shit not supposed to affect him. He's an MVP. He's supposed to be a big boy, right? So I don't want to hear that shit. At the end of the day, they lost badly, and in, and Lo, excuse me, Jokic, aka uh, Jokic, excuse me, aka Joker, was not an impact in that game whatsoever. Last night, however, while the Sixers did ultimately lose one ten one oh seven, Embiid put up forty one, and he nearly hit what would have been a game tying half court three-pointer. Not to mention that he plays on both ends of the floor, and if James Harden had fucking showed up, maybe the Sixers would have eked out a game against Boston. So, my thing is this. Why is nobody talking about this? Why is nobody talking about how the Sixers easily dispatched the Memphis, but Memphis came and beat the shit out of Denver? Right. Remember a couple weeks ago when Denver played Milwaukee when Giannis was healthy and Joker ducked Giannis. Didn't play that game for some reason. Now look, Milwaukee has won 13 games in a row. I'm not going to brag too much on Giannis because you know Giannis is hurt right now. He's not going to play tonight. Um, he's dealing with a calf injury. He's been trying to be a warrior. He's been trying to play through these injuries. But <clears throat> he's doing more harm than good to his body. So he's probably going to miss maybe, I'm thinking, two to three games. Two to three games and then Giannis may be back. Or maybe it might be three to four games. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how Jokic is this runaway MVP winner. You know, 
or leader, I should say. How is he a runaway? Unlike the other two, he, he is not an elite defender. Yes, his shooting percentage is high. Yes, I, I get all of that. But a lot of his buckets, let's be fair, man, and I've said this, 71% of his buckets are pretty much fucking layups and dunks, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, he'll shoot, he'll shoot the three, which he shoots at, at an elite level. And he's a really good free throw shooter, and he's a tremendous passer. But I, I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't see Jokic being this dominant center if we were back in the 1990s. I, like I said, a, a, a comparison. Someone brought it up, and I thought it was great. I think he'd be Brad Doherty, a slower Brad Doherty, right? Now, Brad Doherty, his best years were like 20 and 10. So I could see Jokic maybe back then averaging 18 and eighteen and 9 or some shit. I could see Jokic averaging 18 and 9, maybe like Vladi Divac. You know, a better version of Vlade Divac or something like that. I just don't see this all otherworldly all-time player. I don't see it. It's just that the skill set that he possesses outside of passing looks so great because do, do modern-day centers really, are they really great at posting up? So because he's doing things that we don't see in the modern-day center, it, it, it stands out in comparison. But make no mistake about it, in the post, he is no fucking Akeem Olajuwon. He's no Kevin McHale. He's really good. He's, I, I don't know, I guess you can call him great for this era. But no, I just don't see this runaway MVP winner. Or leader, I just don't see it, man. I think it's... If I had to, do, if I had to put a count on it right now, I think the, t- the top two front runners are Giannis and Embiid, and Jokic is third. I thought Giannis was the leader, but Giannis being hurt and Embiid's last few performances have pushed him up a bit. But yeah, where's Stephen A. Smith? Where's Skip Bayless? Where's Shannon Sharp? Where are all these guys talking about that game against Nikola Jokic? Hmm? They're all there Friday night to, to, to crap all over Russell Westbrook, right? Social media already, you know, they were just waiting with bated breath to crack, to, 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 to take a crack at Russell Westbrook praying that they lost to the Kings. What do you have with Jokic? But let Jokic have a good game against the, you know, the Rockets. You know, let him have a 40-point triple-double against the lowly fucking, you know, uh, Rockets or, you know, some crappy team and let and watch how social media just fawn all over that shit. But anyway, that's all I got to say in this video. Tell me what you guys think.